Hello my creative critters and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today I'm very excited to fill a sketchbook page full of mice and share some interesting facts that maybe you've never heard about them. If you've been around my channel before, you'll know that I love sharing my passion for animals through my other passion, art. And today I'm very excited to add to my Fun Fact Friday playlist here on YouTube where I just hang out here with you guys and talk about animals while I draw them. Before I start talking about mice, I just want to explain why I decided to draw mice for today's Fun Fact Friday video. So I was scrolling Pinterest to get inspired to draw something and these amazing photos of harvest mice just kept coming up and I was so drawn to the photography of these tiny, tiny mice hanging out on stalks of wheat and berry bush branches and even sleeping inside the petals of young flowers that haven't fully opened yet. They are so cute and I had to draw them. So I decided to fill a page in my sketchbook full of these adorable mice. If you ever want to see the references that I'm using for any of these sketchbook sessions, I always have my Pinterest and other social media linked below. So today I'm using a bunch of different watercolor pencils to sketch the general shapes from the reference photos and slowly begin to add more and more details and refine as I go. If you'd like a more in-depth tips tutorial on how I draw from references, check out this video. I'll link it here in the card and in my description. But basically I do a really ugly loose gestural sketch just to get the proportions down and then I slowly start to add smaller details and work around the whole drawing making sure to look at the reference a lot. A big part of drawing from reference or drawing from life is just simply looking at the thing. And if something doesn't look right you're probably not looking close enough to the reference you're trying to study. So once I got the general composition and proportions and start to commit to the lines I'll add more pigment to areas that I want to fill in with more value and then I take my water brush pen and soften everything. I try to be strategic where I add the water because I do love that sketchy colored pencil feel in my drawings in my sketchbook and sometimes I get carried away and wash away too much of that so I end up adding more back in after but mostly after the water dries. I go back in and add some simple line art to bring it all together and crispen up any of those lines or details that got just washed away with the water. So as you watch me pack this little page with mouse drawings, let me share with you some mice facts that I didn't know and I bet you didn't either. I'll of course link the article that I got these facts from in my description so you can learn even more about mice if you choose. The first fun fact that I want to share is that mice can squeeze through tiny holes. You might be thinking, duh, Sarah, mice are small and holes can be small. So obviously mice can fit through small holes, which is fair. But did you know that some mice can squeeze through holes as small as six millimeters? That's smaller than half of a dime, which is kind of impressive, but also kind of creepy. It can really be anywhere. The next fact that I want to share, which is my favorite fact from this list that I'm going to share with you today, is that mice can sing. Mice are among the four mammals that can sing. Whales, bats, and humans are the other three. Male mice will serenade the females that they are courting with an ultrasonic song. This fact makes me very happy because you know how the mice in Cinderella sing? That Cinderella Cinderella song while they're making Cinderella's dress. It's so perfect and I love it. And speaking of Cinderella, you know how they obviously talk to each other and talk to Cinderella? Well, mice are apparently really great communicators and there are a few different quote unquote languages with which mice converse, including physical, odorous, and vocal. Mice can produce ultrasound to chat with each other, so we can't even hear it as humans. So I think Cinderella was a little delusional when she was talking to all of those mice. Mice also use their facial expressions to display their mood to other mice. But when creating Cinderella's dress in the movie, it was in broad daylight and another fun fact about mice is that they have really poor eyesight. Just like other rodents, they can't see really well, but they see the best in dim light. They are also really colorblind so they can't see in red light. So when the little girl mouse was threading a needle and they were all making Cinderella's pink dress, it's not super accurate. And I know obviously it's an animated movie, but it's funny to think about a bunch of real mice trying to make a dress just completely blind. So mice are really good swimmers and they can climb many surfaces. So they would easily be able to scurry up to the top of Cinderella's dress with ease. A mouse's tail provides them with excellent balance, which allows them to easily run across ropes and wires. 
And did you know that they can jump a foot high? I think that's pretty impressive for how tiny they are. Mice are also really fast and can run up to 7.5 miles per hour. That's so fast for their tiny little legs to run. Another fun thing that I learned is that mice have really fast heartbeats. Now a human's heartbeat can range from 60 to 100 beats per minute in comparison to a mouse's heart, which will beat anywhere from 310 to 840 beats per minute. It's crazy how their tiny little hearts can go that fast. The last fact that I want to share in this video is that mice have nest building in their DNA. So nest building is genetic in mice. Now different mice species build different types of nests, but scientists have found that when a litter of mice is separated from their parents and raised without any other mice, they will still build their nests with the same techniques as their parents. So that's all of the fun facts that I want to share in this video. But if you want to learn even more about mice, such as studies that show that mice can feel rage, I'll link some other articles in my description of this video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me doodle these adorable little creatures and I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video please leave it a like because that shows me that you want to see more of this type of video. I miss doing these fun fact Friday videos because it gives me an excuse to learn more about animals and how cool they are. If you like animals and you like art feel free to subscribe because that's kind of what I center my content around. I upload a new video here every Friday for you and I'd love to have you here along on my YouTube journey. If you made it this far let me know in the comments what animals you want to see me draw and learn about next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative and I will see you in next Friday's video. So once I got the general composition, 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 <laughs>